Hello, good day. Uh, last time, my last video, I built this uh, microcontroller board, uh, which is uh, supposed to drive an H bridge. Um, originally, this guy, uh, but I I made a couple of mistakes on this one, on the design, and I decided to. Change. I well, the basic design is the same, of course. It, the night bridge is a nice bridge, but the gate driver section is changed and the layout is changed a lot. So since last time, I uh, I received the PCB for for the new H bridge, and it it looks like this. Uh, this one has actually two rows of MOSFETs instead of um, uh, one row with four. I have two rows with two. And uh, the uh, supply current goes through this wide area in the middle with the ground at the bottom and uh, the positive voltage rail at the top. So I get, uh, yeah, I guess some degree of decoupling by the capacitance between them. And I get very easy way to get short distances to the decoupling capacitors on top. And then the output rails are here. And here you have the input and the output is out there. And I will, uh, instead of having one big heatsink, I will I will use the same heatsink. Because I have a few of these lying around. I will just uh, cut it in the middle and make two of them. And have one, one on each side. Yeah. Like this and then like that. So, one slightly annoying aspect of this is that the heatsink will actually go over these connectors but there will be enough spacing to to connect it so that should be be fine still I uh, just have to be careful of course so they don't short out to the to the heatsink and and having access to them with a the heatsink on is a bit harder but uh, nothing that can't be worked around I uh, didn't find any other good way to do it without making the board a lot bigger, so that's what I went for. I have um, partially populated the edge bridge here. It has all the gate drivers, uh, the MOSFETs, a couple of temperature sensors, and I hooked it up to the controller board, and it now it, it shows the temperature, and uh, it also shows uh, it, it controls these two fans. So, which will be mounted on each of the two, two uh, heat sinks. So, I'm not sure if you can actually see the display on the video, but uh, it says the RPM that it tries to, or that it, the fans are actually running at. And uh, right now, I just hard coded the target RPM to 1500, so it's like oscillating a little bit around there on both of the fans. Um, uh, during normal run, of course. RPM will be controlled by the temperature reported by the temperature sensors. There's one on this MOSFET and one on this MOSFET. So one on each side of the edge bridge. Only one of the uh, MOSFETs on each side have a temperature sensor. So hopefully the other one will stay close enough in temperature that it will be fine. And um, hmm. I wonder what happens if I put these two fans together and let them fight it out. They have it, each have their own PID controller. Oh, they get angry. Yeah, the RPM starts to oscillate a bit and it made a lot of noise. But, well, yeah, seems to work. So, but there is a few components missing on this um, this bridge. Um, I've not put on the decoupling capacitors yet because I they I found on my my previous build that uh, with those in place it's of course very hard to s detect the uh, shoot through problems and stuff like that. So I want to do some testing on it before putting that in place. Uh, of course, the heat sinks are missing. I have to to uh, actually cut it and drill it and uh, mount it. And uh, more importantly, if you look at this guy, you have uh, these gate drive transformers, and uh, and they are missing too. 
So the only reason to plug it in right now is okay. I proved that uh, the signals out to the transformer is fine, but of course after the transformers there is nothing. And also to see that the temperature sensors worked and yeah, everything seems to be fine so far. So what I'm gonna do now is uh, to wind those uh, gate drive transformers. So that they are very similar to this. This is a 10 turn transformer. Uh, fairly small. Uh, this bridge is running at... Uh, it's gonna run around 100 kilohertz. Mm, the calculated resonance frequency of my Tesla coil is about 90 kilohertz. When I was doing my test runs, it was running at 110-ish, but that was with a much smaller top load than it will have at the end. So I guess 90 is about right. Um, with this transformer, in my previous inverter, it uh, it could go down to 30 kilohertz before it started to saturate. With my new gate driver, which drives, uh, instead of driving down to null and up to 12 plus volt, the new one drives plus minus 12. So that uh, cut the, uh, or actually doubles the frequency at which it saturates because we double the voltage. So so the, um, with that setup, this transformers with 18 turns, which is the maximum I can fit without starting to overlap the turns, that is, uh, it is saturating at 60 kilohertz, which should still be fine. I, I will never need to run it lower than that. So next step, wind transformers, four of them. So I'm gonna set up that and then I'll be back. 